Mr. Barker, you are suing Mr. Ballou, who you claim in your complaint is a former acquaintance of yours. Yes. For $2,500 in connection with the unpaid balance of a loan that you say you extended him and some interest that you're requesting. Correct. And you claim that in December of 2016, Mr. Ballou was unemployed, struggling financially, and was facing some significant medical expenses that he couldn't pay. So you extended him a loan of $3,000 in order to pay those medical expenses. And you subsequently took care of him for quite some time while he recovered and contributed quite a lot toward his recovery. Now, you claim that he repaid you about $1,000 of the $3,000 loan. And when you went to his home to confront him, essentially, about repaying the remaining amount, he filed a bogus restraining order against you, escalated the entire situation. Exactly. So you are seeking the $2,000 that he still owes you and $500 that you would like an in interest because the loan was outstanding for so long. Exactly. Mr. Ballou, yes. you dispute just about everything yes. that the plaintiff says, Absolutely. down to the very nature of your relationship. Absolutely. Your answer informs us that you two were not only acquaintances, That's you correct. dated for many years, correct. and were in fact fiancés at some correct. point, when Mr. Barker asked you to marry him. And That's it was correct. one of the greatest joys of your life when he asked you. That's correct. Now you claim that throughout the initial portion of your relationship, Mr. Barker, who did not technically live with you, stayed with you often. That's that correct. you extended many financial niceties to him. And when you did fall on hard times, he helped you out, but just like you had helped him out. That's correct. You also dispute that you filed any type of improper restraining order against him. You claim that he was indeed harassing you and making you fearful. That's correct. So you deny owing him anything? That's correct. Because you don't claim this was ever a loan. That's correct. So, Mr. Barker, I want to start with you. Yes. Did you ask him to marry you? Were you fiancés at some point? This wasn't just an acquaintance, I'm gonna was it? I'm going to plead the fifth on that because it's completely irrelevant for the money that he owes me. Okay, I understand, but it helps us to understand the background of what was going on. Because I have to explain, when we read through the complaint and we see this man was an acquaintance and I took care of him when he was ill and I paid yeah. all this, we think, yeah. what is going on? But when we understand it was a more significant relationship, it starts to make more sense. Understandable, I, I see your point there. And we were more than acquaintances, but at the same time, it was understanding that it wasn't a gift. Mr. Ballou, tell us about the initial portion of this relationship. How did the relationship begin? What were you paying for on his behalf? Well, basically we met uh, about five, six years ago. We were coming on a 24 hour fitness and then everything just blossomed from there. So you said in your answer that you paid for a number of things, that he stayed at your house That's correct. frequently. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. What were you paying for for Mr. Barker? Okay, because of my Barker's living situation, and I lived in a house alone, he would pretty much come over to my house five days a week, if not more, from eight o'clock at night, and sometimes at six o'clock in the morning. Okay, you didn't expect any repayment nothing for that, right? Nothing at all, nothing okay. at all. And Mr. Barker, you would agree you sometimes stayed at his house, but- Maybe three times a week. First of all, I'm a single father. I have a 14 year old child, so I'm not even at the point where I could stay at your house all night, every night. Now my mother moved from San Diego several years ago to help me with my son, but am I gonna leave my son at home with my mother five days a week? Not, no, not at all. What kind of father would I be? Friday night to Saturday, yes, yeah, sometimes. I may go over to your house eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night, have a couple drinks, okay, but I got it. I'm back at home I got it. because I'm a single father. Mr. Blue, other than him staying at your house, maybe buying dinners, nature of the relationship. Mm -hmm. But she never bought anything. Was, okay, hold on. Did you pay for anything significant that you ever expected to be reimbursed? I wouldn't say significant. Okay. I think because of the fact that how the relationship for six years was enough. All right. Your Honor, you think he, he never, never paid, paid for, for anything. anything. Okay, tell okay. us why not. One, because he was unemployed for a majority of the time that we were in the relationship, so he couldn't afford to pay for anything. That's okay. one thing. And because I was young and naive and, oh, let's go out and let's go see Jenna Jackson and let's go see Beyonce and let's go to San Diego and all the expenses were on me. Never expected repayment of any of those things because I knew there were gestures of being in the relationship. Okay. That's why it was very important for me to say, hey, this $3,000 i am loaning you, I mean to correct right. you, they were for house taxes, one for medical expenses. All right, so from your perspective, Mr. Barker, tell us how this $3,000 loan came to be. So Mr. Ballou, again, lost his job around October 2017. By the end of that year, his house taxes were due. They were $3,000. His mother couldn't help him. His sisters could not help him. So he asked me. And I said, OK, I'll see what I can do. And so I go get a loan out for him. I get the loan in the amount of $3,200. I keep two hundred for myself. I give 3000 to him. OK. I had a Let me stop you right there. Mr. Yes. Ballou, is this accurate so far? Somewhat. OK. I Tell us. From I was never unemployed for that long. I've always kept a consistent job. If any times in between, no, you didn't. excuse me, if any times in between employment, I was okay. finding another job.